What is up guys? Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to my kitchen. When it comes to sandwiches, the options available are limitless. You got hamburgers, you got chicken sandwiches, you got deli sandwiches, you got Beyond Meat. I'll pass on that one. But today we are making a hybrid. A delicious bacon cheeseburger and a grilled cheese are gonna slam together and create something truly magical to behold. You got my word on that. In today's video, we'll be making an anabolic bacon grilled cheeseburger. Everything you love about a gooey grilled cheese and a delicious cheeseburger without all the gut butter calories. If the adult in you's been wanting a burger and the child in you's been wanting a grilled cheese, but your conscience says, hey, can we meet in the middle? Then look no further than this video, because I'm telling you, it just might change your life. And shout out to everybody out there that's been following the recipes, doing the anabolic diet, losing weight, and making gains. And it's never been easier with the RJF Anabolic Cookbook. Every single recipe from this channel broken down in an easy to use guide. With this bad boy in your pocket, I don't see any way you can lose. Plus, you get it one time, you get every future recipe I have for free. So now, if you guys are ready to go to Epic video underway, then as always, man, I'm here to do it for you. Let's do it! Yeah! All right, baby, this recipe is simple. I got a mixing bowl and a food scale. I'm gonna start off by showing you guys the best dang anabolic burger patty you can make. I'm gonna start by tossing in 168 grams of 96% lean ground beef. Then I'm gonna toss in 28 grams of fat-free cheddar cheese. This is gonna be magical because when this thing cooks, there's gonna be gooey cheese all on the inside. And then on top of the melted cheese on the inside of the patty, we're also gonna toss in 14 grams of real bacon pieces. You can find these in the salad aisle and they are incredible, man. So even if you don't make Make what I'm about to show you with the grilled cheese counterpart. You just make this burger patty and it's a win, baby. Hit that thumbs up button for ingenuity. Now we need to season our burger a little bit. So we're gonna start with two grams of ground mustard. Gonna put that flavor right into the patty without having to slather mustard on our sandwich. But you can slather mustard if you want. There's no rules in this kitchen. Then the same thing with some onion powder, baby. Let's infuse that flavor with two grams. And then finally, about a gram of paprika for good measure. And then once it's all in here, we're gonna go in by hand and mix everything together until it's all fully incorporated. Once we got everything combined, all we wanna do is slowly form this into a patty. And our best bet here is to make it thin and wide. It's gonna cook faster that way, and it's gonna fit our bread perfectly. And once I get it into a good shape, I'll usually press down on it while it sits on a plate just to make sure we thin it out as much as possible and shape it how we want it. And once we're pattied up, we just gotta give it a quick fry, about three to four minutes each side. Take a large skillet, hit it with nonstick. Then we will just very carefully sit it right in the middle. And now that our gorgeous burger is done, we're gonna do the grilled cheese part. I have two slices of plain white bread. I'm using that nature's own butter bread. You can find this anywhere. It's my favorite white bread. Start with one slice fat-free American cheese. Sit it right here. We will take our delicious burger patty we just made. Sit it right here. And if you look at that, you can see where that cheese kind of browns around it. There's cheese coming up out the middle. There's bacon in there. You don't even know what's coming. We'll take another piece of our fat-free cheese. Sit it right here. Put on the top bun. And then in another skillet, preheated to medium heat, we're gonna take some zero calorie, I can't believe it's not butter spray, and line our pan with it. We will sit our grilled cheese down right in the middle, and we'll let this cook for a few minutes until that bottom side browns and is golden. Meanwhile, on the top, we'll hit it with some more I can't believe it's not butter spray, so when we flip it, we get that butter-infused flavor top and bottom. And at this point, ladies and gentlemen, it's just a waiting game. Once that bottom's good to go, I flip it, give it a couple more minutes, and this guy is ready for a good old-fashioned sword swallowing. Let's go. And boom, ladies and gentlemen, I present to you the anabolic bacon grilled cheeseburger. As you can see, we got our toasted grilled cheese bread up top. We got that melted cheese just leaking out from the top. You got your bacon pieces in here. You got the cheese down here in the actual meat. I mean, seriously, folks, I know you're not looking at this and thinking anything other than 10 out of 10 anabolic. If you made it this far into the video, please smash that thumbs up button for me. Comment anything down below for that algorithm. Hit that subscription. And before this gets cold, I think it's time to pull up a chair, strap on the old feedback, and try this thing together. You guys ready? Let's go. 
Let's go. I am so excited to eat this, but first, we are completely sold out of the white chocolate cookies and cream. Hopefully, we can restock within the month. I'm really hoping. But for now, we still have a few boxes left of the Cinnamon Swirl Crunch and the PB&J, but they're almost gone too. Technically, by the time you watch this video, they might be gone. So finalbossformance.com, could RJ have 10, saves you 10%. You already know, man. You're getting the best tasting protein bar on the market. Put that on my mama. Showtime, ladies and gentlemen. You already know what we got here, man. Anabolic bacon mac and cheeseburger. There is nothing about this that could look unappetizing to anybody watching, unless you're a vegan. In that case, uh, go get some Beyond Meat. It ain't for me, I ain't judging. Three, two, one, let go. Where do I begin? If you've had the anabolic grilled cheese, you already know that that's good. But we put meat in there. There's bacon inside. There's more melted cheese in the middle. I mean, come on, folks. Come on. And the way we season the burger, you got that slight hint of mustard, the onion, the bacon. Tell me one thing that didn't get better with the addition of bacon. Well, maybe ice cream. Actually, ice cream probably got better with bacon. But you get what I'm saying. This right here is a game changer, a showstopper, if you will. This thing walks in the room. Everybody's head's going to turn like the exorcist. It garners attention, respect. On top of that, what you see is what you get. It's delicious. And don't forget those final boss aminos to wet the palate. Ah, zero calories, never tasted this good. Now, M, this entire sandwich, if you make it exactly how I did it, what you end up with for the entire sandwich is only 496 calories, 12 grams of fat, 65 grams of protein, 32 grams of carbs, zero grams of fiber, 65 grams of protein, 496 calories. That's a winner to me. My dinner last night actually was one of these sandwiches, and I made like 300 grams of zucchini in the oven, so I added like 60 calories, and that was my dinner. And also, I had one of these for lunch. Like I always preach, as long as you're hitting your daily calorie goal and you're hitting your protein goal, you're gonna win regardless. Quit overthinking it, man. Eat good food that you love and this is gonna this is gonna be easy. It's gonna be effortless, man. It's about that time of the year at the gym where I go and you got lots of new people in there, man. Everybody reads like one article on the internet and they think they're an expert. They're trying to tell you, carbs are the enemy. You can't eat sugar. Keto's working for them. They're taking plant-based protein and somehow that's the key. And I'm telling you folks, anybody that's telling you their diet is working and if it is really working, it's because they're eating in a calorie deficit. That is it. So don't overthink it, eat what you love, and you're gonna thank me later. And thank yourself later, it's, it's good for you. And real talk, if you don't make this exact sandwich how I did it, at least make the burger the way I did with the cheese and the bacon. At least do that, and the seasoning. Put it on a regular bun if you want to eat it that way, because the burger itself is a showstopper, all on its own. And we are down to the final bite. Let's go. Mm. That, my friends, is an epic sandwich. 10 out of 10. It's everything I want in a sandwich right there. And 65 grams of protein, ooh, making things anabolic has never been easier. Now, you already know, but if you got that RJF Anabolic Cookbook link down below in my description, it has been updated. So this is now in there along with every other recipe that I've ever dropped on this channel, man. So if you want a flexible diet, we're eating foods you love, and we're trying to make this whole process way simpler. No bro science here. Literally, we got two rules, calories and protein. You do that. You will see a change at the end of the day. That's it, man. So check it out, get your updated copy, you know what it is. Appreciate you guys as always for checking out the channel. Smash thumbs up button for me, comment anything down below. Do you got any unique recipes you wanna see me make? What do you think of the Anabars? Let me know, the feedback so far has been incredible, I love it. And yeah, um, subscribe, cause we got tons of good stuff coming. And until next time, ladies and gentlemen, I'll see each and every one of you at the next video. See you guys. Well, that might be a bacon crumb right there. It's black, I'ma eat it. Mm, worth it.